Didn't, didn't, uh, didn't really know what boat we were going to play in. I mean, there was a lot, of, a lot of rumors going around, and we started playing in Jacksonville. First thing I did was take some, take some friends back home and text my parents and let them know. How many friends? How many? How's tough going to be to get tickets for all the friends and family? Oh, man, it's going to be tough, man. I, I was already thinking about it. Luckily, I think we get like, uh, they gave us like six tickets this game, so <laughs> hopefully I can persuade some guys to help me out. <laughs> you know, what was that meeting room like when you found out you were going to the tax layer? Oh, it? man, it, it was wild, man. It was just it was pure excitement, man. I mean, we, we really appreciate uh, the, the Gator Bowl uh, giving us that bid. And, uh, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a great, great time, man. Where did you think you were going? I mean, there, there's a lot of rumors floating around. I mean, if, I'm, of course, I'm sure y'all, y'all heard a few things, but honestly, I mean, we, we really didn't know. Jordan, you're one of you seniors here. I mean, just what does it mean to you to kind of be able to end your career with this kind of experience after just missing the last few years? Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, to go from no bowl game these last couple of years to us playing in the January bowl, like the Gator Bowl, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just a great feeling. Valley been program four years. Just for you also, you know, what are the emotions involved in finally getting to a bowl game and learning the destination and just getting to keep playing football at the end of the season? It's really huge. It's a monkey off your back, um, so to speak. And, you know, I really wanted to do it for the guys that were leaving because I still have the extra year. But guys that I came in with, like Jordan um, and some of the older guys, they don't. They don't have another chance. This is their last chance. I really want to do that for them. Jordan, what do you know about Iowa? Could this be one of the best of the lines you guys have faced this season? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think O'Brien talked to a friend that played him this year, and uh, he said that they had a pretty solid O line. I heard that he had a pretty solid uh, offensive tackle. And uh, I mean, we just got to prepare like it's in any other game. So, I mean, we'll be prepared. I mean, we got a whole month, so we'll be ready. I mean, they just tell us how much fun it is, um, how exciting it is to be able to go to a different city and spend time with your teammates separate from just football. Um, how, how all the gifts that you get and how great it is just to just to have the whole experience. Do you guys look at this as like a fun reward type trip, or is this a business trip where you're strictly going down there to win games? I mean, I mean, we have to. I mean, of course, of course, it's going to be a good time. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's postseason play. It's going to be a bowl site. I mean, it's going to be a great time. But I mean, we're going down there with a business mindset and preparing this, preparing this month with a business mindset. Because I mean, we still have a football game to win. Jalen, this is obviously the, the last game for this particular team. How much can Game and maybe a win kind of set the tone going into the offseason because you guys will have a lot of guys back. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be big. Um, the way I see it is there's no turning back now. Um, you know, we had six and six season, we got you know, the chance of playing in the tax layer bowl, so now we just got to keep climbing. And um, I feel like this is just, just the first stepping stone and make sure we want to elevate it, and the year after that, we want to elevate it. Kind of old hat to Iowa. They're in a bowl game just about every year. I mean, how do you keep making that bowl experience a factor? Or do you just had a concern that their bowl experience can make a difference or something like that? Thing is, uh, I mean, our coaching staff. Obviously, I mean, they're experienced with bowls, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure they know that we might get caught up in a little bit of all the excitement and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure I, I trust their pre- preparation and getting us ready to play in this bowl. So. You guys feel like you need to go out and I mean, this this Tennessee playing Iowa, but I'm sure it comes into in the factor. Mm-hmm. How convinced were you that? I guess how surprised were you when you heard Florida come out as Coach Johnson out that meeting? It seemed like most everybody had yeah. Memphis or Nashville. Well, were you, were you yeah. kidding? I mean, how, yeah. how surprised were you? Yeah, the thing is, I mean, from from uh, I mean, we heard a lot of rumors from a lot of different bowl games and stuff, but. Uh, Early this season, I, I know my uh, my mom was like, "Man, I hope y'all hope y'all end up back in Florida so we can stay in this warm weather." But uh, I mean, yeah, the uh, Gator Bowl chose us, so yeah, it was a great it was a great pick, man. So what about you guys? What were you expecting going in? 
I really, really didn't have any idea um, all the way up till we figured it out. Um, we were hearing rumors from everywhere. We really didn't know where we were going to go. Um, but when he said, you know, a January bowl, it made a huge difference. Uh, you know, there's, there's literally a difference between December 30th, January 1st. Like that next step, it's a, the bowl site just gets even better. Um, and we're super excited that we get a chance to play in Jacksonville for the Gator Bowl. Um, I mean, at this point, you know, we're happy to go anywhere. So it wasn't it wasn't on our minds. You know, we were just we were just going out to practice, have fun, yeah. like we always do. Um, and we we had a ball at practice right. yesterday. Practice, practice was fun yesterday. I tell uh, you, <laughs> we we got a lot of scrimmaging done to where we were doing situations, and for a good like Long eight ten periods where yeah. we were just playing against each other, we weren't thinking about anything else and it helped get the stuff off our minds yeah yeah I think we just went back just to playing football yesterday man I mean just weren't focused on any any other team pre uh, preparing no scouts none no looks nothing like that I mean we're just playing against each other competing I mean it was, I ain't gonna lie, it was that was, that was more fun I had to practice yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's just like uh, these these extra 15 practices. I mean, I mean young, I'm saying young guys, a lot of them play on scout team during during the season, and they don't get to get first team looks, you know what I mean, and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So they're, they're always in another position that they normally wouldn't be playing. And uh, to get them reps here, 15 reps, I mean, 15 practices here, and then take that into the spring, and then they get another, what, 15 practices mm -hmm. in the spring, and then take that into the fall. I mean, it's... It's like a whole nother spring. So, I mean, to get to get them a lot of reps and, and get them a lot of looks, it's, it's real important. I think it's real big for um, our linebacker room. Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys in the room. A lot of kind of, I'm one of the most experienced players, and I'm just a sophomore. So, it's, I think it's going to help our linebacker room a lot, just getting those guys reps and just helping them play. Because really, I man, some of the guys that have been on scout team, they haven't really just been playing our defense since, since like week two or week three. So, it, it's definitely going to be big for them. Mm -hmm. Jalen Kyle, you're going to be back next year. To hear that Butch Jones is getting a contract extension is kind of here for the foreseeable future. What does that mean to y'all just in terms of the future of the program and stuff like that? It's huge because um, I believe in Coach Jones, and I know that he can do a lot of great things. Um, and I really want him to stay as long as possible and be able to get, you know, freshmen coming in next year all the way through, you know, all five years if they're here. And... Uh, just keep building the program up. It really gives us a lot of confidence in him. And, you know, I want to be one of the VFLs coming back and being excited to come to a game and, and cheer on um, the Vols.